Welcome to the first and hopefully not the last episode of Gizmo Guild TV, where we like to build, create, and innovate with anything we can get our hands on. Woods, metals, plastics, electronics, anything. I'd like to kick off the series with a comparison between two tools for cutting metal stock, an angle grinder and a portable bandsaw. Today's victim will be a ratty old piece of rebar, which I'll clamp in the vise. Rebar, I'm told, is some kind of carbon steel, which might not cut the same as other types of metal, but it will give us an idea of how the tools perform. We'll start with the angle grinder, but first, gloves, and I am wearing safety glasses. Just about any build that involves metal begins with the need to cut said metal into appropriately sized chunks. So having the right tool or tools for that job is pretty important. Unfortunately, I don't have room in my little shop for a floor-standing bandsaw, which would be ideal. So the choice came down to an angle grinder, which I had, a metal chop saw, which would also probably be good, or a portable bandsaw like the one I bought. First, angle grinder. This noisy little screamer not only breathes fire, but it smells pretty bad too. If it doesn't set fire to the shop, it does cut through the stock pretty quickly. It does the job and is definitely worth keeping around, but has its limits. But there you have it. A piece of sliced off metal ready for whatever comes next. Now let's try the same thing with the bandsaw. The bandsaw still doesn't let me cut really big stuff but it does have much more capacity than the little angle grinder. And one thing I really like about this particular model is that it's battery powered. No power cords trailing around to get in the way and cause accidents. It is also quite compact. So let's fire it up and see what it can do. I really should have put the backstop against the work before lowering the blade, but nah, it works. And it cuts smoothly and quickly, even quicker than the grinder. So that's that. Both cut well, but I think in terms of speed and ease, the bandsaw is the tool I'm going to grab most of the time. 